The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to create an entry that can be posted on the course blog uh, for Geography 30 called Our Perspectives. You'll be using this blog frequently to complete your learning activities. On the course homepage here, I'm going to click on the link that will open us directly to the, the course blog right here on the left hand side, Our Perspectives. It opens up in a new window. And so here I am on the front page of the, of the course blog. I'm going to scroll down on that page. On the right hand side down here, there's a link called Add an Entry. You just need to click on this. It'll open up a brand new entry for your um, uh, post that you'll need to put up on the blog for learning activity. First thing you need to do is add a title. And when you put in a title, I always need to put in the module number that you're working on. This helps uh, in, in grading. Uh, so we want to make sure we get that in there, and then I'll add, I typed it in there already, uh, the rest of the title is indicative of something that I want to put in there. I'll add my narrative, and um, you've got the, the rest of the space here, and you can use the different um, formatting buttons to, to help you express what you want to do in your blog post there. But sometimes it might be important for you to add a diagram or some kind of a concept map or something uh, that you've prepared uh, using Google Docs or another application and saved to your desktop. What you need to do to insert that would be to click on the Insert Image button. I'll do that here. Click on the Insert Image. This opens up a little dialog box to allow you to go out and upload that new image. So it'll go out and find it. I'm going to browse. Uh, and here it is, uh, my diagram. I'm going to click and open that one and add that one to uh, upload that one up into the blog space. You'll notice that, uh, very important here, that I've added a unique identifier to my file name. If I have the same file name as someone else, it will overwrite that file name. So I don't want to get involved with that. So I'm going to put my user ID, which I know is unique to me, uh, as part of the file name, and that will get around that. So add that to your any of the files before you upload them, and you'll avoid any of those kinds of problems. Now, the blog is only 500 pixels wide. I know my diagram is much wider than that. So what I want to do here is I want to definitely display this image in my entry, so I'll keep that one checked. But I only want to use the 500 pixels, so I'm going to leave that as, as, as it is. I'm not going to use the pop-up version. I'm not worried about that, so I'm going to uncheck that one. So this is really important to have this 500 show up, especially when your image is larger than the 500 pixels wide. So I've uploaded this. I've checked the uh, uh, display in my uh, image in my entry and I've got it 500 pixels wide, I'll click the Finish button, and that will insert the image directly into the post. And I can continue typing afterwards or however I want to uh, around that image uh, until my post is, is complete the way I want it to. Before I hit the Save button, though, it's absolutely important that you check the category for the module you're working on. This is Module 2, so I'm going to check the Module 2 category and make sure that is checked so that uh, it'd be very easy to miss this in terms of grading uh, if this is not checked. Later on in the semester, if I'm going to scroll down, let me go over here to the right a second, and scroll down, you'll notice there are team categories as well. You might be asked to check one of these depending on what team you're in, uh, and that will also help your teammates find the tag, the uh, post that you've put on. Uh, that'll come in later in the semester. Uh, once I've got that, I've got my title, I've got my post the way I want it to, I've checked the categories appropriate for this, I'll come down and I'll click on the Save button, and that will publish it to the course blog. Let's check. Up the top here it says View My Entry. Let's go ahead and do that. And sure enough, it's got my post uh, up on the blog here uh, for others to read and comment on uh, as uh, required by the course.